launching of the school magazine called School of Environmental Studies Nexus, the publication of the Journal of Environmental Research, Volume 3 compilation, is already ongoing. The School of Technology, the ND program in Nutrition and Dietetics, and the HND program in Agricultural Extension and Management commenced in the 2015-2016 session in the respective Department of Food Tech and Agricultural Technology. The Department of Agricultural Technology has been actively engaged in yam cultivation, vegetable production, tractor rental, raising of cocoa and pawpaw, seedlings and animal production in the area of pigry, fishery, rabbitry, and amongst others. A tourism village made up of eight huts has been constructed for the Department of Leisure and Tourism at Epe campus, and students have started using the demonstration kitchen and restaurant for practical classes. At the Department of Polymer and Textile Technology, the installation of a Sousa Dobby weaving loom has commenced, while the chemical processing laboratory has been completely rehabilitated rehabilitated. It is hoped that the Sousa W loom will produce high quality laboratory and industrial overalls and school uniforms for pupils in primary and secondary schools in Lagos State and beyond. A memorandum of understanding is presently ongoing with Beda Paints PLC for the training of their technical personnel at the college and for possible donation of equipment that will enhance research activities in the college. The hospitality management department is also in the process of collaborating with International Hotel Group, International College of Hotel Management in South Australia and Samsung. The School of Technology successfully held its 2017 annual lecture and exhibition. The lecture was titled, Technological Innovation and Entrepreneurship Empowerment. In order to reduce the span of control and for better efficiency, effectiveness, the academic board approved the School of Engineering, which is an old, as old as the college itself, be broken into two schools with effects from 2015-2016, namely, School of Industrial and Manufacturing Engineering, School of Civil and Natural Resources Engineering. The 12 departments in the S12 school are now spread between the two new schools. Honorable Minister Sir, the college as a responsive institution continues to embark on a course of academic expansion by introducing new programs which are relevant to the development of the nation's economy, and also making concerted efforts to improve the quality of the new and old program through resource inspection, accreditation, and re-accreditation verification. In May 2017, the National Board for Technical Education re-accredited 31 programs. Also, three new programs await resource inspection and were successful in that outing. The new programs are HND Leisure and Tourism, ND Library and Information Science, ND Mineral and Petroleum Engineering. The college administration continues to encourage and support staff development. As at 2014, only 18 staff of the college held the uh, PhD degree, while 38 staff obtained their PhDs between 2015 and 2016. Today, the college has about 80 staff with PhD, while a total of 95 staff are undergoing PhD programs locally and abroad. This, no doubt, will raise the quality of teaching and learning in the college. In the area of flexible skills development, the Flexible Skills Development Center has taken firm root in Yaba College of Technology, having been initiated and approved by the National Board for Technical Education. The unit, which is also designed to bring more flexibility into technical and vocational skills development, has recorded a few achievements since its establishment in 2016. Some of the recent achievements of the center 
are development of five short non-formal courses which are currently being proposed to some local gov governments in Lagos State for partnership to enable the center run them free of charge to empower citizens of the state to earn sustainable livelihood. Development of open education resources policy for the college and training of academic staff on use and production of OER. More than 40 formal courses are currently being taught using flexible and blended approach. Skills training and certification for 25 professionals or mobile application developer is also ongoing. Non-formal training, skills training from secondary school teachers in Lagos State on facilitating with PowerPoint is also ongoing. Training of some widows and orphans on production of commercial liquid soap, germicides, and antiseptics organized by WITED in partnership with Rose of Sharon Foundation. Inauguration of flexible skills development advocates most amongst the students of the college to mobilize their colleagues towards imbibing the ideals of flexible skills. In the area of ICT infrastructure in Yabatek, the computerization of the college operations has reached an advanced stage, thus improving efficiency and turnaround time and accurate data delivery for management use. In 2016, the college commenced a comprehensive data capturing operation for all staff, students, and administrative documents with deployment of a server for easy access. In this regard, students' record for part-time and full-time enrollment going back 16 sessions for both full-time and part-time have been captured, totaling 620,000 documents. About 1,400 staff folders have also been captured in alphabetical sequence summing up to 193,917 documents. All in all, over 1 million documents have been captured so far, including administrative documents, bursary documents, and pensioners' records. Bursary operations have also been computerized with the deployment of the, of the software that will make the job easy. The college has commenced online transcript application to enable greater efficiency in processing and delivery of transcripts. On Radio Yabatech, Yabatech now has radio called Radio Yabatech. It has commenced operation on the frequency of 89.3 FM. Indeed, this convocation is being broadcast live from the station. The convocation is also being streamed, streamed live by the UNESCO Univox Center of the college. It's for enhancement of security, the college has deployed CCTV cameras in strategic locations around the campus with inverter and power backup. Honorable Minister Sir, the college, through the support of Tetfon, has been able to achieve high level of infrastructural development on both campuses. The infrastructural development projects approved for a campus in 2017 under the capital grants of the college have commenced and are ongoing. Two L-shaped one-story buildings sponsored by Ted Fund, one-story male and female hostel by federal government capital fund, one-story building for female and Male on build and transfer basis, six blocks of classrooms. The Department of Agricultural and Bioenvironment Engineering was relocated to Ekpe in June 2017. Also, National Diploma Part Time Computer Science commenced at the Ekpe campus in the current 2016 2017 session. Honorable Minister, sir, the college environment is relatively peaceful. The security structure is in place is alert with active support from the police and other security operatives. In the area of sports, Yaba College of Technology has made great strides in the area of sports. The college participated in the 2017 Nipoga 
Nazareth Games and came third. It will be recalled that the college emerged first at the Nipoga Games in Bida in 2014. Eminent sportsmen and sportswomen have been produced by the college. Honorable Minister Sir, on behalf of the management, I thank you for the inauguration of the governing council of the college in May 2017 under the leadership of Prince Latif Fagbemi, SAN, an erudite lawyer and institute administrator. With a short period of its inauguration, the governing council of the college has made a visible impact in the governance of the institution. The council at its meeting of July 17 approved, amongst others, the promotion of 182 senior staff and 48 junior staff. We are indeed grateful for the level of commitment and passion which the council has brought to the national assignment. The Alumni Association and management of the college have journeyed together through the years as partners in progress. Management appreciates the association for its numerous contributions to the growth and development of the college. I also want to use this opportunity to commend the association for organizing a workshop with a theme, business financing in a growing economy, as one of the worthy contributions to the celebration of the 70th anniversary of the establishment of our dear college, Yaba College of Technology. Honorable Minister, sir, I thank Mr. President for my appointment as Rector Yaba College of Technology eight years ago. In the course of my administration, the college has recorded improvements and increase in academic programs, rapid development of physical and infrastructural facilities, which has transformed the landscape of the college campus acquisition of contemporary equipment for teaching and learning, computerization of administrative and academic process, staff and students' welfare and collaborations with development partners, amongst others. Honorable Minister, sir, I must pay tribute to the Federal Ministry of Education, the National Board for Technical Education, Tertiary Education Trust Fund, the Alumni Association, and of course, my constituency, the Yaba Tech community for their support through the years. I heartily congratulate the graduates on the successful completion of the studies in the college. I urge you up, I urge you to rise up to the challenge and contribute your worthy, worthy beats to the development of this nation. Yaba College of Technology has equipped you with the requisite skills and knowledge to be entrepreneurs and employers of labor. I also congratulate the parents and guardians on the success of your children and words. I want to appreciate my colleagues from far and near who have come to honor us at this occasion. I want to pay homage to all the past administrators of this college, the late Mr. Akileye, Baba Ogufi, our dear father, late Dr. Adegbile that brought me to this college, Chief Mrs. Odubeso, Abimbolo Odubeso, a mother, and Dr. Olubumi Owosho, a brother. Mr. Okufi is here. His support has been as constant as the Northern Star. I thank you, sir. I commend the chairman and members of the ceremonies committee for all their efforts in, make, in making this ceremony a success. Honorable Minister, sir, distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen, I thank you all for gracing this occasion. I wish every one of you safe journey back to your respective destinations. The greatest Yaba Tech students, greatest of the greatest, greatest Gogbo, greatest Bagba, greatest ambassador that will rule this world. Thank you, Rector, Madam. I now have the honor and pleasure to call upon the Chairman of the Governing Council of Yaba College of Technology, Prince Latif Fagbemi, S.A.N., to address the convocation. The Chairman, sir.
the Honorable Minister of Education and visitor to the college, Alaji Adamu Adamu, so ably represented by the Director of Tertiary, Federal Ministry of Education, Mr. Samuel Ojo, the Director of Tertiary for Education, the Executive Secretary, National Board for Technical Education, Dr. Saud Kazari, MNI, the Royal Fathers, members of the Governing Council, Yaba College of Technology, Director of Federal Ministry of Directors, Federal Ministry of Education, Fellows of the College, Principal Officers of the College, Deans of Schools, Heads of Service and Academic Units, Members of the Academic Board, Graduates, Staff and Students, Parents and Guardians, Gentlemen of the Press, Ladies and Gentlemen, on behalf of the Governing Council, I welcome you to Yaba College of Technology on this auspicious occasion of the 31st Convocation Ceremony of the College. As the College celebrates its 70th anniversary, it is my prayer that the institution will continue to grow and contribute quality manpower to the nation's economy and grow from strength to strength. I am particularly delighted at the array of notable personalities gathered here today to honor this great institution. This goes to show a recognition of the position Yaba College of Technology occupies as the first institution of higher learning in Nigeria. It is indeed my privilege to honor to this ceremony the visitor to the college, to the institution, the Honorable Minister of Education. The Honorable Minister of Education, sir, please recall that the Governing Council of Federal Polytechnics were inaugurated in May 2017. At the, inaugura at the inauguration ceremony, the governing councils were well briefed on their mandate as well as the expectations of government from them. At its inaugural meeting of the college, council received a detailed presentation on the state of affairs of the college and therefore became quickly familiar with the historical antecedents of the college, its present strength, opportunities and challenges as well as its vision and projections. This quick familiarity indeed facilitated the early integration of council with the operations of the college. The governing council also held meetings with the management, academic board and staff unions. At these meetings, the priorities and expectations of the council were discussed. Of particular importance to the council is the sustenance of higher acad high academic standards, prevalence of peace and harmony on campus, staff and students' welfare, and preservation of good name of the institution. In this regard, the management and academic board have been charged to raise the bar of administration and scholarship in the college. Academic activities such as accreditation, research, exhibitions, contributions to knowledge, through inaugural lectures and technological innovation must be vigorously pursued. Qualitative yes, detail, deliberations and decisions of the academic board must be vibrant and qualitative, while issues such as examination malpractices and all forms of academic malfeasance must be guarded against at all times and those pending should be disposed of expeditiously. Council is particular about stability of the academic calendar and the quality, of relevance, the quality and relevance of programs. This is an obligation that we owe our students. Council appreciates the importance of staff unions and acknowledges the role they play as the representative of the people. We also appreciate that we all have a common cause, which is the overriding best interest of the institution. Consequently, Council will continue to advocate dialogue rather than confrontation, as well as pursuit of peace, harmony, stability, and progress over and above other considerations. We will ensure that all legitimate obligations of staff and students are fulfilled. The staff unions are therefore urged to work together in harmony and in the interest of the college and eschew sentiments which may breed discord and erode the values that hold us together as an institution. Over the past five months, Council has been a strategic partner with the management, giving guidance and directions
to promote the standard of teaching and learning, improve the quality of staff and students' welfare, enhance academic and infrastructural development, articulate an internally generated articulate the internally generated revenue drive of the college and indeed ensure the prevalence of orderliness and peace on campus. The Honorable Minister, sir, I want to assure you that as if you as the visitor to the college that the Governing Council of Yaba College of Technology will continue to discharge its duties with commitment and focus and in accordance with, the, with its mandate. In particular, we will protect the integrity of the institution. We will preserve the tenets of public service and will uphold the vision of the government to provide quality education and enduring standards. I want to thank all the organizations which have con that have contributed or assisted in the growth of Yaba College of Technology through contributions and social responsibility gestures over the years. I particularly thank the Education Trust Fund for the, particular, for the impact made in the college through the intervention projects in the areas of infrastructural development, research, conferences, library improvement, and staff development. The regulating agencies for the maintenance of standard, that the education committees of the Senate and the House of uh, National Assembly through their oversight functions, the alumni and fellows of the college, donor agencies, and all collaborating partners. In the same vein, Council of Yaba Tech owes the Executive Secretary of the National Board for Technical Education, Dr. Masoud Kazari MNI, lots of gratitude for his visionary leadership and being a listening administrator. He is never tired of assisting us whenever we beckon on him, even at odd hours. Dr. Kazari is always there for us. We cannot thank you enough. I first I felicitate with the Alumni Association of this great institution on the celebration of the 70th anniversary of their alma mater. I congratulate the association on the successful national workshop held two days ago, that is to say on Tuesday, 17th of October, 2017, in commem commemoration of the 70th anniversary. I wish the association many more years of service to Yaba College of Technology and the nation. The Honorable Minister, sir. Let me seize this opportunity to state that while it is evident that Yaba Tech has witnessed tremendous growth and expansion in recent times, the obvious fact is that it is not yet Uhuru. We still have a long way to go in delivering an institution of world reckoning that can stand toe-to-toe -to -toe with its global peers. It is in this realization, it is in the realization of this state of affairs that all stakeholders must put all hands together and belt up for challenges ahead. Polytechnic education is meant to provide a country with the needed technological, technical manpower for the advancement of technology and economic empowerment. It is also a veritable means of solving unemployment problems that has plagued our country. A country like ours cannot but give all the necessary attention to the sector. It is in realization of this fact that the present administration has given us the mandate to transform the fortunes of this great college for the better. Honorable Minister, sir, the present funding structure for our polytechnics and Yaba College of Technology in particular is not only abysmally low, same cannot take us to the promised land. It is on record that it takes an average of $7,100, uh, that is an equivalent of 2,699,900 naira to train just a single engineering student. Yet, only 5 billion was approved for the institution this year to cover personnel, overheads, and capital projects. Of this sum, a whopping 4.6 billion goes to personnel costs alone. It is clear that we do not need any calculator uh, or any chicken OB considering our needs and the students' population before coming to the conclusion that such money cannot take us far. There is no doubt that technical and vocational education and training, TVET, is expensive and requires more funding. 
at the projected rate of $7,100 per dollar per student mentioned earlier, the polytechnic sector will require about $45 billion to train the current engineering students alone all over the uh, country. This is another, point of, uh, another pointer for the need to seek more funding for the sector. Long gone were the days when our country had so much money and also problem of how to spend it. The irony today is that there are countless areas of our socioeconomic and educational lives begging for financial investment and or attention. Unfortunately, the so much money of the 70s is no more available. The bottom line of my rhetoric is that we must be ingenious in how we generate and spend the limited financial resources available to build an institution of our dream. This is the obligation we, as members of the governing council and all stakeholders in the education sector, owe our nation. Honorable Minister, sir, all our sources of revenue must be prudently managed and optimally utilized. Our polytechnics cannot grow in a situation where proceeds from national education levy or tax are distributed to state governments only to be spent on anything except education. Such practices must be prevented. Money meant for education must be spent on same. Additionally, we must strive to attain nothing less than 90% implementation of our annual budget for our institutions in the next 20 years if we truly desire to see any meaningful impact. To our parents, I want to say that you must continue to be our partners in progress. In our resolve to position Yabatech as one of the best institutions of technology anywhere in the world, we shall always defer to you for assistance and support. I sincerely hope and pray that you will heed our call whenever we come around. As a TVET institution, we place emphasis on ICT, ICT and entrepreneurial studies. Yaba College of Technology is well positioned to contribute to the economic and technological development of the country. I give kudos to the management and staff of the college for their efforts in moving the college forward. What we are witnessing today is the result of their hard work. I urge you all not to rest on your oars. Honorable Minister, sir, let me at this point place on record the Council's recognition and appreciation of the achievements of the Rector, Dr. Margaret Kudirat Ladipo, over the past eight years. Her many achievements and indelible acts in the history of Yaba College of Technology and will indeed remain a lasting legacy. The machinery for appointing a new rector is now well in motion. As our present rector, will be bowing out in December 2017. I also congratulate the immediate past registrar of this college, Mrs. B.C. Amapakabo, on the successful implementation of completion of her tenure and wish her success in her new assignment as director special duties. Honorable Minister, sir, I also want to acknowledge the contributions of former governing council led by Chief Ebenezer Ababatope to the growth and development of the college. I would like to congratulate the graduating set of 2015-2016 on these achievements. It is on your account that we are all here gathered today. I sincerely hope that the knowledge, skills, attitude, that you have imbibed at the College of Technology here will be put to the best use in your working life. By virtue of your training in technical and vocational education, you have been, you have been given the key to unlock the future of our country. I wish every one of you success in your future endeavors. Remember that you are ambassadors of your alma mater and you should always strive to make your institution proud. I felicitate with the parents and graduates of guardians of the graduates. I pray that your labor of love and support over these children will not be lost. 
Honorable ministers, distinguished ladies and gentlemen, I thank you for gracing this occasion and wish the entire community of Yaba College of Technology a 70th anniversary, 70th anniversary, and I say congratulations to the graduates. Thank you. Sir, I now have the honor and pleasure to invite the Honorable Minister of Education and Visitor to the College, Malam Adamo Adabo, ably represented by Dr. Ojo Samuel, to please deliver his address to this convocation. The Honorable Minister, sir. The Executive Secretary, National Board for Technical Education, ably represented, the Rector of this college, or of this great Yabatek, Dr. Mrs. Nadipo, the Chairman, Governing Council, and members of the Governing Council, the Alumni Association of this great college, Royal Fathers, management and staff of the college, graduating students, the press, ladies and gentlemen. I wish to first of all tender the uh, unreserved apology of the Honorable Minister of Education, Malang Adamu Adamu, who would have loved to be here in person. You know very well his passion for TVET, technical and vocational education, is unrivaled. I wish to read his address. An address by the Honorable Minister of Education, Malang Adamu Adamu, at the 31st Convocation Ceremony of Yaba College of Technology, Yaba, on Thursday, 19 October 2017. It is my pleasure to be here today at the occasion of the 31st Convocation Ceremony of Yaba College of Technology. The historical journey of Yaba College of Technology serves as a reference point for the history of education and development of Nigeria. From its humble beginning in 1947 as the Yaba Technical Institute to its present state, the college has contributed significantly to manpower development as well as economic industry is significant and brings about deep introspection on the role and impact of education on the nation's developmental journey. There is no doubt that education is the bedrock of any nation and technical and vocational education plays a key role in the economic empowerment of a nation. Polytechnics, therefore, have to live up to their mandates and be responsive to the challenges of nation building, particularly at this time when the country is about out of economic recession. Educational institutions must embrace the research culture. And in the same vein, technological innovation must originate from the ivory towers. Government on its part has put in place structures to support these two grants and interventions from institutions such as Tertiary Education Trust Fund, Petroleum Technology Development Fund, and others. In addition to this, government support researchers in tertiary institutions should endeavor to avail themselves of the numerous research grants, fellowships, and other such opportunities from foundations and agencies around the world to undertake research and innovation initiatives which will contribute to knowledge and promote economic and technological development. Pursuant to the affirmation goal, 
synergy must exist between the industry and the academia on the one hand and collaboration between academic institutions and agencies such as National Office for Technology Acquisition and Promotion, NOTAP, so that locally generated technologies like students' projects are promoted and do not end up in departmental libraries and stores. The nation is in their need of technological, of technological development. And this must originate from the academic institutions. It will be recalled that a few years ago, students of a Nigerian university built a vehicle that participated successfully in the Shell Echo Marathon in the Netherlands. These evidence, this is evidence that our, that our academic institutions have the capacity through research and innovation to solve our development developmental problems. How we leverage on this to move on to the next level. Academic institution should be at the forefront of fabricating the tools and implements required in the industries through innovation and the process of adaptation and domestication of technology. In this regard, academic institution should proactively assess the equipment and fabrication intervention from third form. Distinguished ladies and gentlemen, this is an area that must be addressed seriously by managers of our higher institutions. Leading higher institutions in the world are well noted for their contributions to development through their research and innovative initiatives. It is for this reason that the present administration places high premium on technical and vocational education. In addition to emphasizing the importance of research and innovation, the quality of the academic programs offered must continue to progress along global trends in order for graduates to compete effectively and remain relevant in the world of work. To achieve this, regulating agencies must continue to monitor the programs to ensure that prescribed standards are met, particularly in the areas of staffing, curriculum, library facilities, and infrastructure such as classrooms, laboratories, workshops, and studios. New and relevant programs must therefore continue to evolve in accordance with the dynamics of a rapidly changing world. I wish to seize this opportunity to commend the management of Yaba College of Technology for its responsiveness in introducing new programs in the past eight years. It is my hope that these programs will be consolidated, sustained, and develop to form a pedestal for national development. The pioneering efforts of Yaba College of Technology in the field of entrepreneurial education are also well noted. The institution is encouraged to further strengthen the entrepreneurial culture in order to empower our youths to be self-reliant. For education to make meaningful impact in any nation, there must be collaboration between educational institutions and employers of labor. This synergy is what will give direction in the development of curricula and also enhance the teaching and learning process. Lecturers must also live up to expectation as surrogate parents, mentors, and role models for our students. As you are already aware, the 5th October of every year was declared as the World Teachers Day by UNESCO in 1994. The declaration of the day is to enable all nations of the world to appreciate and recognize the immense contributions of teachers 
to nation building and also address key challenges facing the teacher and teaching profession in general. Nigeria, as usual, joined other countries of the world in, celebrate, in celebration of the 2017 World Teachers' Day. I urge you all to continue to give your best and shun practices as sexual harassment and victimization, alteration of scores for gratification, absenteeism at lectures, and such negative practices which indeed draw us back. I want to commend the management of Yaba College of Technology for its sustained efforts at physical and infrastructural development and indeed its prudence in the management of resources. Government will continue to emphasize transparency, accountability, and good governance in our higher institutions. At this juncture, I want to congratulate the rector of the institution, Dr. M. K. Ladipo, on the giant strides achieved in the past eight years. It is indeed obvious that Yaba College of Technology has improved in quality and number of academic programs, as well as infrastructural development. May I also use this opportunity to urge all the students to be of good behavior, embrace dialogue rather than confrontation, and shun tendencies towards destructiveness. Let me emphasize that education is not for development of knowledge and skills alone, but also for character building, discipline, and morals. Once again, I congratulate the, graduate, the graduating students on their achievements, which have been acquired through hard work, dedication, and perseverance. I encourage you to utilize the knowledge acquired from Yaba College of Technology positively in the service of humanity and to continue to be good ambassadors of your alma mater. It is my expectation that as you go out into the world labor market, you will contribute your quota to the development of the nation. To the parents of the successful graduating students, who have been celebrated today, I congratulate you most especially for the various efforts you put into these graduating men and women, which have culminated in their achievement today. Finally, I urge the management of the Polytechnic not to raise on its oars, but continue to propel this great institution to enviable hearts. Thank you, and God bless you. So, I have the honor to present to you those students who have distinguished themselves in the various schools by winning special prizes in their respective fields of study during the 2015-2016 session. The names of the prize winners and the prizes they have won are shown in the convocation program. I call upon the prize winners to please stand up while I invite the rector to congratulate them. Will prize winners please stand up? Rector, madam. I congratulate all of you on your brilliant performance. Thank you. Please resume your seats. Prize winners are to collect their awards at their respective school offices. Sir, I respectfully invite the Chairman of Council, Prince Latif Fagbemi, SAN, to present the school awards to graduates who have achieved the best overall performance 
in the schools of uh, art design and printing, environmental, management and business studies, and school of science. Mr. Chairman, sir. No. Just stand here. School of Art Design and Printing. Best overall HND student in the school. E.K. Samuel C. Please step forward. Will the best overall in ND be here? Get ready. School of Environmental Studies, best overall student in HND, Kosoko Hadirat Atinuke, best overall ND student in School of Environmental Studies, Iwuji Ikechuku Henry, School of Management and Business Studies, best overall HND student in the school, Shita. Abdul Wahid, Abiyadu. Best overall ND student in the school, Oshidele Samson, KG. School of Science, best overall HND student in the school, Nelson Mary Ada. Best overall ND student in the School of Science, Akonji R. Ifeolua. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Oh, okay, I'm, I'm sorry, they're still coming, they're still coming. Thank you, Mr. Chairman, sir. Thank you, sir. Sir, I respectfully invite Mrs. Bola Are, a director of Ministry of Education, the principal of Queen's College, and a former member of the Governing Council of Yaba College of Technology, to please present prizes to students who will be called forward. School Award, School of Technology, Best Overall HND Student in the School, Okenla Uluwato Bitemitope, Best Overall ND Student in the School, Adedara AE, School of Rebar Studies, Best Overall ND, ND Student in the School, Adepoju Uluwato Sin Adewale, Best Overall HND Student in the School of Liberal Studies, Follow the show, Adidayo, Uluwashio. School of Industrial and Manufacturing Engineering. Best overall HND student in the school, Wu Liza, SC. Best overall ND student in the school, Oguagu, Chisom, Emmanuel. Civil and Natural Resources Engineering. Best overall HND student in the school, Salami Lukman, best of all ND student in the School of Civil and Natural Resources Engineering, Namdi Wane.
Thank you very much, madam. So, I respectfully invite Pastor Oluaf Fermi Martins, the president of the Alumni Association of Yaba College of Technology, to please present the school awards to graduates who have achieved the best overall performance in the School of uh, Technology and Art Design and Printing. The Pa Joseph Adesomi Akinjaeju Award. Best HND student in food technology, Okpara HO. Best overall ND student in data structure algorithm, Daudu Symbiat Olaide. School of Art Design and Printing. Most deserving art student, the Yusuf Y.A. Grillo Award. Akinriola Abiodu A. The Babatunde Ajose Award. Best HND student in printing technology, Ike Samuel C. Late Mrs. T.K. Akinyemi Award. Best HND student in fashion design, Iyanu N. School of Environmental Studies, Idowu Rahim Award. Hmm? Best overall HND student. In architecture, Onwara Uchechuku John. Best overall ND student in architecture, Udeme Spencer Chuku Doom. Best overall HND student in estate management and valuation, Adesoya TT. Best overall ND student in estate management and valuation, Iwuji IH. That's the Idowu Rahim Award. Best of all, HND student in urban and regional planning, Olani Ro Moshud Bolanle. Best of all, ND student in urban and regional pl planning, Mosaku Olaide Esther. Also on the Idowu Rahim Award. Best of all, HND student in building technology, Ogunubi Kikelomo. Best of all, ND student in building technology, Belo Wasiu Olamide. virtues such as humility integrity and diligence and the sky will not be your limit it would be your starting point finally as we go about in life there is colleagues that remember to do our school my school your school the indomitable yaba college of technology proud in every way and always happy 70th anniversary to this great institution of higher learning thank you very much for your time and attention god bless the school of management and business studies God bless the great Yaba College of Technology, the first and still the best. God bless Lagos State, and God bless the Federal Republic of Nigeria and Nigerians. Thank you once again for listening. Honorable Minister, sir, I have the honor to invite you to declare this 31st convocation ceremony closed. Honorable Minister, sir. Distinguished ladies and gentlemen, on behalf of the Honorable Minister of Education, Malan Adamu Adamu, I hereby declare this convocation ceremony closed. Distinguished, very important personalities, please listen to this announcement. Special guests, members, governing council, principal officers, deans of school, directors should kindly retreat to the catering restaurant for lunch after this session. At the heads of departments, should kindly move to syndicate room for their refreshment. Thank you. We will now rise for the national anthem. Let us rise for the national anthem.
congregation will now go out in reverse order. That is, the chairman and the council will lead the procession while others re remain where they are until the VIP stand has gone out of this place. Thank you. Congratulations to all our graduating students. And we wish you all the best in your future endeavors. Great Yabatek. Eh?